Hi, uh, these are my post-fight thoughts for the card in Montreal last weekend on Saturday the 3rd, which featured uh, Lucien Boutet versus Denis Grashev in the main event. Um, I thought that Lucien Boutet would probably get a knockout late on in this fight. Um, not simply because I thought he was the better fighter, which, you know, on paper you would certainly imagine he is because... Um, Gratches is coming up, you know, uh, he hasn't had a great deal of um, big wins, but he was coming off of a win over Ismael Silak, who is a good fighter at light heavyweight. So um, so I thought Lucien Bouteau would probably win a late stoppage, and he nearly did. I mean, you know, he nearly stopped him in the 12th round um, after, you know, a barrage of late um, big, big heavy-handed punches in the last round. But... I think that a 12 round win over a natural light heavyweight in his first fight at light heavyweight, um, probably before he comes back down to super middleweight, I thought 12 rounds in a fight like that and coming up, coming off of a massive loss to Cole Frotch earlier this year, I thought that the 12 rounds was probably the best thing for him. Um, he went out there, he fought a Fairly good upcoming light heavyweight in Grachev, an unknown, somebody who people probably haven't seen many fights of, maybe they saw his last fight with Silak, but unknown quantity, heavier fighter, etc, etc, coming off of a big loss, it's always going to be difficult. So I thought it was a perfect performance by Lucien Bute. I don't think he looked fantastic, uh, but I thought it was the perfect performance after, you know, or if you take everything else into account. And like I said, he came on strong late on, and I thought he, you know, um, won well. Um, Grachev looked okay as well, so, you know, credit to him. He made the distance, um, he's got his name out there, so now he can move on to bigger things as well. The only thing I will criticise Lucien Boutte for is that he was getting hit quite easily in much of the fight. He was being pressured throughout. Uh, he did well to keep the pressure off of him. He did well to, you know, keep... Grashev at bay and he did well to land the sort of punches he uh, was doing but Grashev was landing punches at will in some of the rounds and if um, the reports are true and uh, Lucien Boutet's team are negotiating a rematch with Cole Froch to take place in Canada in I think March or April you've got to think that Cole Froch is going to knock him out again because um, you know you, you come back um, <coughs> from a loss you work on some things, you you know, you work on some things in the gym, you work on some things in the ring to, um, you know, uh, to defer away from your um, frailties. And he wasn't doing that. He was getting punched all around the place, which in against Cole Froch in a second fight or a third fight or whatever, he's going to make the same mistakes again. So I think that if he steps in the ring with Cole Froch again, he's going to get knocked out. But if he does... If he does step in the ring then, then great credit to him because, um, you know, he doesn't have to in theory. I mean, you know, he's lost the title, he can move on and go and fight some other guys. So if he actually wants to rematch Froch, all credit to him. Um, so I just thought I'd say that about Lucien Boutet. And then on the undercard I thought I'd just quickly mention um, the light heavyweight contest between uh, Renan Saint-Just and Alan Green was an absolute bore fest and it cost me money. Um, that was awful. Um, I, if I'd realised that Renan Saint-Just was going to look so much smaller than Alan Green or whatever, I would have avoided that fight. But Alan Green is awful. He's just an awful fighter, to be honest. Um, every single time Saint-Just hit him with a big left, which wasn't very often, it was only maybe half a dozen times in the whole fight, but every time one of those big lefts connected, I thought Alan Green was going to go down, and he did go down at, in one round. I think it was round four. And had the fight been in Britain, where you know fights tend to get stopped a bit sooner, I think he would have been stopped in that round four. But the referee let him go on, and then he was rocked again. I think in round six or something like. That. But anyway, um, Alan Green ended up stopping him late on. Um, actually, he didn't even stop him, did he? It was a ring. It was a, a corner stoppage. So his corner pulled him out, San Just. Um, so. Bit of a boring fight that one, but you know I wasn't expecting fireworks as you never do when uh, Alan Green is fighting. And in the other fight, which was a fight of the year contender uh, between bantamweight Sebastian Gauthier 
and uh, Rodrigo Guerrero. That was a really good fight, and if you haven't seen it yet, you should check it out. Um, really good fight, fight of the year contender. Rodrigo stopped him in round eight, I think it was, late on. Um, you know, it was equal all the way going through every single round. Gautier was winning some, Rod Rodrigo was winning some. Great fight. So uh, overall, it was a pretty decent card. Um, but like I said, the standout fight in the night was Guerrero versus Gautier. And I thought Lucien Butte did well for himself. And um, the green um, Sergius fight probably stumped the place out a bit. But um, there. So I thought I'd give my post-fight thoughts.